Hello, I'm Cody with Lower Range Off-Road and this is another how-to video. Today we are going to talk about the Vacuum Advanced Controller on a 1.3 Suzuki Samurai. The tools required for this is just a standard vacuum pump and some vacuum line that's going to fit onto the Vacuum Events Controller. Now first off, you want to test your vacuum pump to see if it will hold vacuum. So you're just going to plug the end of the hose and then pump it up to 15 inch pounds and then hold it there and if the needle stays in one spot you have a good vacuum pump. So we'll come back to that later and at the end of the video we're going to talk about if you don't have a vacuum pump with just a vacuum hose and your mouth you'll be able to do the same test. We're now going to look at the distributor and show you where it, where, what the vacuum controller is and what to watch for when you're applying this test. Here's the vacuum advanced controller located on the front of the distributor pointing towards the front of the motor and it comes in here and controls the igniter inside of the distributor and this is what you're going to want to watch for and it should move three-eighths of an inch when you apply vacuum. And Now what's so important about this working is that it advances the timing just a little bit at high engine speeds so it improves the performance of the vehicle and you get better fuel economy. And so at this point we're now going to go down to the vehicle and show you where it's at on the vehicle and how to test it. Today we are working on a 1987 Suzuki Samurai. So we're first going to start off by removing the distributor cap by popping the two clips on either side. Moving it out of the way. And then this guy here on the side is the vacuum advanced controller. And this guy in here, right behind it, is the igniter. So we're also going to talk about that. You want to make sure that when you apply vacuum, that it moves 3 eighths of an inch. It should move slightly up. So first we're going to start off by removing the vacuum hose off the side. And then with the vacuum hose that's attached to your pump, and go ahead and attach that back onto the vacuum advanced controller on the distributor. Okay. Next is you're going to want to pump it up to about 15. And then as you pump it, you're going to want to watch to make sure the igniter moves about 3 eighths of an inch. And once you reach 15, 15 inches of vacuum. You're then going to want to watch to make sure the needle doesn't move or the igniter. And you're going to want to hold it for about seven seconds. And at that time you're then going to want to release it and watch the igniter and see if it moves back down. Okay. So it's a very simple test but if your needle dropped at all while you're holding the pressure or the igniter moved back into position. That means you have a bad vacuum advanced controller on your distributor and it needs to be replaced. We have them in stock and are ready to help you at lowerangeoffroad.com. Okay, welcome back. If you don't have a vacuum pump, we're now just going to discuss the other way to do it with just a vacuum hose and yourself. You are just going to attach it just like you would your vacuum pump and then suck through the hose and draw a vacuum from vacuum and then you should be able to test it the exact same way. And then just to hold it to see if it's going to work, if the vacuum advanced controller works, just plug it with your tongue. And then that's all you have to do to test it without a vacuum pump. Once again, this is another how-to video with low range off-road. And thank you for joining us today. Please join us next time.